Good evening, everybody. I am trying to... I had the camera just right there. As long as I don't touch it or breathe. This is a video on some wild grapes that we foraged for. And I left the grapes in the front room. Well, not the front room. In the... On the table. Let me run and grab them. I'm not prepared. Prepared. Okay, we have all of these grapes we foraged for. Let me do like this so you can see them better. Okay, um, by the time you see this video where I'm putting them in, getting them ready to dry, I would have already uh, posted the video where we were foraging for them and getting them. And I do have the liners in here that I made. They're not exactly round, but I will. They'll work. And don't need that vine. These are the wild grapes that we got. And I will just kind of lay them out. Now, for some of you that's never used grapes before in any of their workings, I will give you a few samples of how to use them in your workings. I've got this liner put in here so that uh, they don't fall like I say, they're not perfectly round, but they'll do. So the wild grapes, um, it increases prosperity in your life. Put this on. It's not going to sit down on exactly. I'm just going to put it like that. And then as they start to dry, the dehydrator trays will start to level. You can also use the grapes for, in your workings, for mental clarity. When we went foraging, uh, my husband was taping while I was cutting them. This is a big bundle. I don't really want to take them all off because they're going to be falling everywhere as they start to dry. I don't know how I'm going to do this where it's going to be like all sticking up. You can also use grapes for attracting um, abundance. That's going to be all wonky, but it'll be all right. It'll settle. I'll put some heavier ones on this side over here. And the spider came out. And I was trying to kill it. Trying to get some heavier ones on this. And beautiful grapes. Where they were at, they were like, it's kind of a pretty good deep ditch. And they were growing from the ditch where there's plenty of water. Right down the road from me. And technically, they wouldn't be long to anybody because... That would be considered a right away, but at the same time, see, 
at the same time, I do um, um, I do want to go by and let the people know that owns the uh, property that I did <coughs> get some. We drive by it all the time, and I told my husband, I said, those look like bunches of grapes or something. And he's like, where? So when I tell him, he's like, uh-uh. So we were walking over there. Sure enough, that's exactly what they were. Wild grapes. You can also use them. Um, you can place them on your altar for money spells. You can use them in, uh, for fertility deities like the Egypt's hot um, Hathor. Um, bring in creativity into your life. This is the last tray, so I'm going to have to make sure that I get them all in here. Now, when you are out in the wild harvesting grapes that you find, you know, picking wild grapes, um, do not eat them. You have to. Uh, you have to make sure that they're not poisonous, because there are um, grapes that are poisonous. They look just like these grapes here. And the way to tell them the difference on them is by the leaves. And also, you have to squish a couple of them and make sure they're not poisonous. Because there's some grapes that look just like this. They look like the wild grapes. And they are extremely, extremely poisonous. And the way to tell those is you squish them. I won't squish them with my hand because they are very poisonous, the other ones. They're called Canadian Moon Grape, I think. Don't hold me to that. You'd have to research it. There's a vine sticking out right here. Um, and how you tell the difference is by the leaf. One is like more jagged than the other, but the grapes, if you like, I, if you put them like, fold up a paper towel several times and squash it in the paper towel, and the seeds, though just the wild seeds that you can eat, these seeds are like, um, they'll have like two, anywhere from two to four seeds in them. The ones that are poisonous, the seed, it'll have one seed in it, and it is uh, called a crescent, a crescent shape. So it's like a crescent moon, so it's like round, and then it has like a place like this that looks like the crescent moon. Those are extremely, extremely poisonous and can be fatal if you eat them. So if you're out in the wild and you see grapes and you pick the grapes, do not eat them until you squish some of them and check. And keep in mind, you can have the wild grapes growing and you can have the poisonous ones growing right next to it. So if you're picking grapes, you check the seeds and they're good to go, good to eat and you move over to like the next one check them also because they can be poisonous some of them grow right side by side okay so anyway i just wanted to let you know that i'm putting them in the dehydrator they'll be in the dehydrator at least a couple of days i'll check them tomorrow and then the next day you want to make sure they're really good and dried because if not then they still will stain. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day. Blessed be.